everybody what's up welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a la 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 we will be doing a tutorial on how to make a youtube banner so let's go ahead and open up the internet and i think we'll start with photar first okay i'm going to make this big and I also saw that they have pre-made measurements for you so that's easy so go ahead and click design all right so as you can see, they have Facebook, a poster, a card, Instagram post, Facebook post, Google cover, Twitter cover, but obviously we're going to go for the YouTube cover. And if you see down below, the measurements are 2560 by 1440, and that is correct. So go ahead and hit that. And also, they have pre-made... Um, banners on the side for you guys so if you guys want to just take something off of there but use one of your photos obviously we would be using the free ones because all of these that have little diamonds on them that would mean you have to purchase photar but of course we like the free stuff so we're just gonna go ahead and look at the free ones and see what catches the eye um, we can go ahead and let's so this one's cool. Let's go ahead and click on this one. You guys can click on whichever one um, is more appealing for you. I'm just gonna hit this Natalie's Biz Blog. And that pulls up, so that's neat. <clears throat> and then you wanna, you're want you gonna wanna drag in and import your photos. So go ahead and import any photo or background that you guys have already got ready for it. I'll use this one. This is the one of the major ones I've been using, but this will end up right here on the side on the right, and you guys just have to drag it to the document, and there you go. And on that note, you guys can change things. So you can do um, an effect, you can do a transparency, you can flip, you can rotate, you can layer, you can clone it, which is obviously making a double. Um, I think I will do an image effect and just see, you know, just kind of work with it. Sometimes I like to, you can blur it so it's a little more blurrier. I think we'll stick with that. Next, you guys will obviously change the text, so we'll go ahead and change all this out so for me i'm just going to say um let's just do the name of the series getting fresh with it okay it does have this book here i don't want that we'll go ahead and delete that and just make sure okay so that's fine then obviously you want to change this so i can say um tutorials and how to's for YouTube so that's what I would say and I think I will put this closer over here you guys can do any color you want I'm just kind of leaving it what they give us since it's already pre-made it makes it easier I will Definitely do a tutorial on how to do a more um, complicated, I guess, uh, banner. And that would be the cropping and the everything if you want to cut yourself out and all that type of stuff. But there you go, guys. That's how to just make a simple pre-made banner with Fotar. Like I said, super easy and um, yeah didn't take yeah it didn't take long so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial I know it's short I'm trying to keep the tutorials three minutes or less five minutes if it's something complicated um, because I will be doing 
I'm trying to do one of these every day, but we will see how that works and uh, the feedback on if you guys give me feedback and comments and uh, let me know what you guys would like to see next and what you guys would want to learn. But um, yeah, let me just fix that. And then obviously guys, you'd go up and you'd want to save it. So just go here, just whatever you want to name it. I'm probably going to just put what it says. Getting fresh with it. And JPEG, save. All right, and save it. Let's save it to the desktop guys. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably bring this into PicMonkey because I do want a border. So I'll open up PicMonkey. This is the same site we used last time, guys, for the thumbnail. And I would hit Edit. And then you're gonna want to hit Doc uh, Desktop. Sorry, not Documents. And you're gonna want to find it on your desktop. And you're gonna want to choose it. And we'll go over here to the left again, guys, and hit the border which like I said I like simple borders I just think it just looks cleaner and I pick this and just see what color pops out to me I'd probably use that looks like a mint color and so it's just getting fresh with it tutorials and how to's for YouTube um, you can put anything down here you want. You can keep it simple. It's really up to you guys. If you wanted to put text, you can hit the text um, area, text button, excuse me. And um, yeah, I'm probably down at the right bottom. I might just put Nikki Fresh just to personalize it. And that's not what I wanted right here. Fresh. All right, and we'll just put it down here so it's just a little bit more personalized, and that would be it. So you guys can go ahead and save. But um, like I said, you can make your banner or anything, guys. If you're if you're doing nail tutorials, obviously you'd have nail pictures. If you're a baker baking cupcakes, you could do cupcakes. I mean, pretty much. You guys can do anything. So that is the beauty beauty of it. I do use um, Tumblr backgrounds a lot, guys. Let me go ahead and save this, and then I will show you guys what I mean. I usually put, like I said, fin at the end of everything that's finished, just to let me know that it was a finished product. And I go ahead and save, and masterpiece save. So like I said, I do go to Google, and I will say, uh, I'll just put tum Tumblr backgrounds if you guys are wondering where I get my backgrounds from and go to images and I mean you have backgrounds for days guys they even have it um, separated by colors you can do patterns you can do I mean there's so many so like I said if you were trying to look for, if you were doing a uh, nail banner you, you guys were into nails or doing nail tutorials you could hit nails and they will pull up pretty much nail polish, nails, and everything. So I definitely do love the Tumblr backgrounds. So I do not own these, everyone. This is just what's on the internet and I just use them. But that's all, guys. So there is the finished product of your first banner. And I hope that was easy, guys. Um, I know this is probably super easy for some people who are advanced, but we will be getting into more technical and complicated uh, tutorials soon. I just want to start slow for people who haven't really been in the YouTube or the graphics world and that want to learn. So I want to start somewhere. I don't want to just start on a complicated um, on a complicated f beginning and they, they might already be uh, how should I say, discouraged. So let's just take our pace slowly and uh, we will get there together, guys. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. And leave me a comment, like I said, if you guys have any questions or what you guys would like to see next, what you guys would want to learn next. And um, yeah, bye.